South Richmond Hill, Queens, New York, home to the Punjabi community, a popular people originating from Pakistan and North India who practice Sikhism, as seen in the Gurudwars or temples reflected. These peoples thrive in businesses like jewelry shops, laundrettes, groceries, and definitely restaurants. But walk lower down Richmond Hill. Oh Bengali Babu, oh Gayana Babu, oh Bengali Babu, oh Gayana Babu. I am the very best of the Guyanese Babu. I am the very best of the Guyana Babu. Me come from the country they call Guyana. Land of the bauxite, rice, oil, and sugar. Me say pack up the grip and there we go. May I fi go back to Guyana some more. So the song by Terry Gadraj really reflects how this community has gained prominence. And in mid 2021, it was recognized by New York as an entire district with its own sign to boot. I'm just showing you a little section of Little Guyana where roti shops thrive. But this community is also a hub for the Indo Caribbean diaspora. And because I was hungry and it was late in the evening, I decided to, to take a trip to a restaurant randomly. I did not select, I didn't Google it. I tried to find a typical restaurant whilst walking the streets. So with Bhojpuri music blasting in the background indicating chutney from Kanchan, Babla and Sundar Popo, it wasn't surprising to see the puja shops and the groceries making you feel that you were in Shagwadas, Rio Claro, Princess Town, Trinidad, or maybe you're in Linden or Georgetown, Guyana. What I noticed is a lot of the Caribbean restaurants, Dominican and even the fringes of Indian shops seem to all support each other. And I thought it was a good lesson for us to learn that uh, ethnic communities like from the West Indies try to patronize each other's businesses and allow them to thrive so that there aren't just foreign investors and huge you know foreign chains of fast food and enter the roti shop and i'm not going to tell you the name but you saw baigan choka pumpkin takari or eggplant then pulauri sahina and you see here even pak choy choka aigan aru and definitely chana chana was used and i ordered that but i also bought a bottle of snacks i have currants roll as well that i took away from the trip so for me it was an opportunity to get some trinidadian food you see the sahina on the right for seven dollars 95 cents i got a lot of food three times the size of this plate with bus of shot or silky paratha roti made with clarified butter a little bit of vegetable oil uh, some sugar, some yeast, uh, baking powder, flour, and that's a flaky roti that you could have with any vegetable or curry. I'm having it with chickpea curry, but the chickpeas is very unique. Whereas the Punjabi community, like the one I showed you earlier in the video, they tend to eat chickpea or chana as chole with, with masalas that are very hot and spicy, the Caribbean tend to use a kind of generic madras curry and they infuse flavors from green seasonings like celery, sive, cilantro or culantro and they definitely pressure cook. Our pressure cooker places some baking powder and green seasonings into the chickpea so it has a unique flavor that is quintessentially Creole or Caribbean. And it's good to try these foods if you're in New York or in London because you're supporting local Caribbean people. The roti shops and Jamaican jerk shops throughout New York as well as what I've seen in London and even The Hague in Holland seem to sustain the population of West Indians and even uh, general metropolitans, people from these countries, in a beautiful way at cheaper prices than huge chain stores, chain restaurants.